Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best laptops for photo editing. Starting at number 5. Microsoft Surface Laptop Studio. The Microsoft Surface Laptop Studio is perhaps the slickest touchscreen laptop specifically aimed at designers and those in other creative fields. It features a hybrid design, so can convert from a laptop into a tablet, but it doesn't do so via the usual 360-degree hinge. Instead, the Surface Laptop Studio has a dual hinge so can open up like a normal laptop, with a secondary hinge around the center of the display that lets you pull the screen forwards so the bottom locks, in place magnetically just above touchpad. Or it can sit flat where the lid would usually be, this gets you the a euro of fat to bleed a euro style of a 360 degree hinge without leaving the keyboard sitting awkwardly underneath inside 11th gen intel processors and up to 32 gigabytes of ram make light work of image editing though the surface laptop studio is far from the most powerful laptop on the market however like other surface computers it excludes quality throughout including parts workstations tend to neglect such as the speakers and webcam. Just be careful when it comes to ticking the option boxes when you buy, as the price can quickly increase to levels that are tough to justify for the performance you'll get. Coming at number 4. Dell XPS 15. The Dell XPS 15 range can be confusing, there are lots of different spec configurations to choose from, and pricing can frequently fluctuate. We reckon the best config for photographers is one which includes Dell Euro trademark as best for K plus 1610 screen, which boasts 500 nit brightness and touch sensitivity. The only issue with that is few XPS 15 configs come with this display, and they're inevitably at the pricier end of the range. The extra cash does also buy you plenty of performance courtesy of a 11th gen 8 core Intel Core i9 processor and you can choose from 16GB right up to a whopping 64GB of RAM, though we'd only recommend the latter if you'll be editing high residential video as well as images. 16GB or 32GB should be ample amounts of RAM for image editing. The selection of ports is also pretty good, with Thunderbolt 4, USB-C 3.2 Gen 2, plus adapters for USB-A and HDMI. There's even a built-in full-size SD slot, something Theta Euro trademark S sadly becoming a rarity in premium laptops. At number 3. MacBook Air M2. The MacBook Air released in 2022 is the direct replacement to the MacBook Air of 2020. While it looks incredibly similar to its predecessor, it has been redesigned and is now powered by a more powerful M2 chip. The base M2 chip packs an 8 Euro core CPU and 8 Euro core GPU, which can be upgraded to a 10 core GPU for an additional cost. You also get 8 GB RAM and 256 GB of SSD storage as standard, but photographers and other creatives will almost certainly want to get at least 16 GB RAM and 512 GB SSD storage. With our 16 GB test machine, we were astounded at how this little laptop could keep up with our most demanding image processing requests and not break a sweat. There are no fans to whir and it does na Euro trademark T seem to heat up under pressure. A crystal clear display and comfortable trackpad and keyboard are complemented by a MagSafe power connector and two USB-C ports and a 3.5mm headphone jack for a minimal but utilitarian finish. Number 2 of my list Razer Blade 17 The Razer Blade 17 is one of the best of the best when it comes to high-performing laptops for gamers and creatives a euro, and that means it comes with a hefty price tag attached. The cost will be prohibitive for many people, but there's no doubting the power of this laptop. The configuration of the Razer Blade 17 that we had in for review was retailing for around $4,000 or a pound for 000 at the time we were writing this review, which gives you some idea. 
Yes, that's a lot of money to be paying for a laptop a euro, but you get levels of performance are above just about everything else on the market. If you have the budget to get the best there is then the Razer Blade 17 is certainly a contender for that slot. Whether you're planning on using it for high-end gaming on Steam, large video editing projects, or both. That retail price is going to go a long way to determining whether or not this is going to be your next laptop upgrade. And number 1. MacBook Pro M1. Sure, the new MacBook Pro may be an obvious pick as the absolute best laptop for photo editing, but it's hard not to be thoroughly impressed by what it has to offer. We still love the original M1 MacBook, but with a maximum 16GB RAM, it could never quite topple the older Intel-powered MacBook Pro to be a truly future-proofed image-slash-video editing powerhouse. Not anymore. Apple has addressed these concerns, big time. The current 2021 MacBook Pro not only smashes any RAM limitations courtesy of its Apple M1 Max chip, which can be had with 64GB RAM, it also comes with a 16-inch screen size, which is noticeably more comfortable for long editing sessions than a 13-inch panel. This incredible Liquid Retina XDR display boasts an insane 1600 nit peak brightness, making HDR content come alive, and it can display a high DCI, P3 color space coverage for accurate video editing. The current 16-inch MacBook Pro is also available with an M1 Pro chip if you want to save some cash, though RAM capacity is restricted to 16GB or 32GB, and its speed is lower. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.